Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a great dragon figure to show you here. This is a Russian figure, which I am super excited about because it's been over a year since I've picked up a Russian dragon figure. Uh, the Russians are really hard to get a hold of, especially this guy. I have been trying to get him for a good while. Uh, he's pretty hard to get, so I'm really excited right now. His name is Sergei Ivanovich Kozlov. He is a Red Army DPM gunner, part of the Second Guards Infantry Division. And he is a corporal. At the top it says World War II, Sevastopol, 1944. And we've got a great picture of the figure here. He looks really epic, especially with um, the cape. It's not called a cape, actually, on the back. We've got the name of it there. But that looks great. And this figure came out in 2005. So a great looking box. Love that picture of the figure. Let's bring out the figure now. Here he is. All right, so awesome looking figure. Um, the detail is great on this guy. He really stands out. Um, I really love him. So for starters, let's take a look at his weapon, which is the DPM light machine gun. And this is a really nice weapon. I love this the way it looks with the uh, round drum magazine on top. Really cool. And uh, he holds it pretty well. Here it is up close. Okay, there is a strap on there. And you can pull up the sight if you want to. Um, there is a little piece down here that you can pull back right over there. And then it does have the a bipod on here. And then you can take the magazine out, or off rather. All right, so awesome looking weapon. Okay, here's the head sculpt with the helmet on, which looks great. The helmet fits very nicely on the head. So here's the helmet up close. Oops, let me get that in focus for you. All right. Um, inside, you can see this is actually padding that you can uh, put inside. I thought that was pretty neat. And here's the head sculpt for the figure, which I really like. He's got a really... Um, a pleasant look to him, um, but I like how they put a light beard on there. Uh, really a unique head sculpt, I like it a lot. Okay, moving on. So, obviously he has the, um, it's called the Palatka. Which is pretty much like this huge cape. Uh, it's really nice. You can tell uh, they put a lot of detail into it. It looks very uh, worn. You see he's got his right arm. Which is slipped through this opening here. But let me take this off. Great piece of equipment there. Alright, so as far as equipment, he doesn't come with a whole lot of stuff here. Pretty simple. He's got this big bag here. And then he's got another one here, which has an extra magazine for his machine gun.
All right, and then he comes with two grenades, which are really nicely detailed, I think. I've got one attached onto this bag, then another onto his belt. So there is a look at that. And then he comes with a nice leather belt as well, which I've strapped in here through these loops. And then he has a canteen on the back. All right, and as for his uniform, uh, he's got these shoulder insignias or uh, shoulder pads here with the red stripes. Looks good. Uniform is really cool. And he does come with um, two medals. It's called the Order of Glory Medal Third Class which I don't have pinned on to him, but there's a look at one of them. And I guess you can just glue it on or pin it over here like that. Okay, and he does, he comes with this other little badge here, which uh, looks really nice. Try to get that in focus for you. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure where that would go. I guess just somewhere else on his uniform, but um, pretty cool. Okay, so not much else to show here. We got his pants, and then I really like his boots. I think they are very nicely detailed, especially at the tip. You can see uh, they look pretty worn, so great detail. Overall, the figure is really nicely detailed. Um, yeah, that's everything to show. This is an awesome figure. I am so happy I was able to get him. I did pay a good amount. I paid like 90 bucks, but in my opinion, it was totally worth it. This figure is really hard to find, um, and I can see why. He's really nice, especially among the Russian figures. I think this is one of the best that they put out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next review.